Hey everybody, I'm Tim and today we're going to look at the lighter side of things. You're watching Cigars Daily. Help us future-proof Cigars Daily by watching these videos on CigarsDailyPlus.com where you can find coupon codes, extra content, and so much more because we're always working to make it better on Cigars Daily Plus. For this video, I'm enjoying the Wayfarer from Sereno Cigars. This thing comes with an oily, toothy wrapper, an unbelievably robust flavor. It's exactly the kind of cigar you'd want to have a good working lighter to enjoy. So you get home from a long day of dealing with all the crap the world can shill out at you. You kick your feet up, you turn on the TV and realize that the news is on. So you turn it off and leave and go have a cigar. Something in this world that's still actually simple. And that's one of the things people love about it. So imagine everyone's surprised when you sit down to light it up and your favorite lighter just looks at you. It won't turn on, it won't ignite, it won't go. Maybe it doesn't have fuel. Maybe the damn thing just stopped working. And and that's one thing I hear a lot of people talking about in the cigar world is these lighters that sort of fall apart. And true, like a lighter is a very complicated thing. In fact, I want to take you guys inside of this for a minute. So what I'm going to do is just bash one of these things open. I'm going to go ahead and use a Cigars Daily Lighter, just one of our own brand here. And let me just take this thing apart for you. This thing is incredible. It's not even leaking. <laughs> this is supposed to be easier than this. So sitting in front of me here are all the parts of my lighter. And without even taking apart the actual torches and the igniter in there, this thing comes with little tubes and hoses and parts that turn the flame up and down that all has to work together in concert to mix gas and air and point that toward your cigar so you can get a good light. Problem is, when it doesn't work, what do you do? Certainly, a lot of this stuff comes from China, so you don't expect the quality to be ridiculously good, but there are things you can do to extend the shelf life of any lighter out there. And so I want to take you through some of those today, along with some steps to take, like if you're trying to figure out or troubleshoot a lighter issue in your home right now. And so with no further ado, let's jump right in. And I'll ask you up front, like, what is your go-to brand for lighters? What is the company you trust and say, hey, when I get lighters from these guys, they tend to work better than the other ones that I've used. And if you're looking for a good recommendation on a brand, check the comments below this video. But like a lot of cigar smokers, your lighter collection may look more or less like this. And maybe some of the lighters work and maybe some of them don't. I don't know. That certainly seems to be the case for a lot of people. And when it comes to this issue, you can spend a lot of money on lighters, but I think most of us would rather spend that money on the actual cigar collection rather than the thing to get it going. After all, you do spend money on a car to enjoy it. You don't collect the starters for the damn thing. When it comes to this, the first thing that you can do with your lighters is just like count on getting another one. Certainly within the cigar world, it's not hard to come upon free lighters. Like our customers regularly enjoy deals where they find that there's a lighter in a pack or a lighter that gets added on or something like that. But a lot of people don't want to mess with it. And if the thing stops working and you just want to throw it in the damn trash, you didn't spend a lot of money on it, do it. Get yourself another lighter. But again, that's the more expensive way to go. So let me take you through these things. The things that I would say will help you extend that shelf life and get a little better use. Extending the life of any lighter comes with some simple and basic practices, sort of like marriage, except they don't feel as futile. These are things that are gonna help you right away, and one of the first ones I'll tell you about here is actually important, and I see like nobody doing this, but I know that it's a helpful thing to do, and that's that most lighters have got like a flame dial on the bottom. This one's got it right here. I can turn it to the left to turn it down. I can turn it right to turn the flame up, but when you go to fill your lighter, lighter and put gas in the bottom of it, you do want to turn that flame dial all the way down. And then as you start to light the thing, you can increase that flame to get it back where you want it. But one of the things that that gives your lighter is it takes all the weight off the regulators and tubes and hoses inside and allows them to gradually build up again. This is something I've read in a number of actual like lighter instruction guides that say to do this, although nobody really seems to do that. So most people don't know about it, but if you do it, it can only be good for your lighters. Now this next one may come as a surprise to some people and I hope that it doesn't to you, but 
These things do not like excessive heat. It's like a big surprising deal, but if you leave them in your car, you gotta remember what's inside is little plastic like containers for the fuel and rubber hoses. And if you heat those up for a long time, they can crack and break. Then the lighter just won't hold any fuel or it'll leak the fuel out and become totally worthless to you. So you wanna sort of keep your torch in the same place that you're gonna keep your cigars. A lot of people keep them next to their humidor or in a drawer underneath the humidor. But if you leave the damn thing in your like cup holder, don't count on it working for very long. But even when you step out of the house, this is another really big one. A lot of people don't think about it. You throw your lighter in your pocket. It rattles around with your keys and stuff like that. And depending on what parts are exposed, that can also contribute to your lighter just having a shorter life. That's one of the reasons a lot of people keep their lighters inside their travel humidor when they go out. In fact, I think this one right here actually comes with a lighter and a cutter, which is really nifty and convenient. But as you travel around, you want to keep your lighter sort of in a Again, in the same condition you'll keep your cigars, you're gonna work to keep the wrapper on your cigar from cracking, and even though a lighter is not as delicate and fancy as a cigar, you wanna sort of protect it as well. And then there's a big one for cigar smokers, and that is, what kind of fuel do you use? This right here is a can of Lotus Butane. This is what we use here around the shop, and we don't even carry this stuff on our site because it's expensive and slow to ship, and people always get confused when their order ships ground. It's because there's a giant can of gas in it. But when it comes to filling up your lighters at home, one important thing to remember is stick with the same brand gas. God, there's this whole conversation in the cigar industry about whose gas is the purest and how many times is it filters and how many particles per billions is it gonna have of these imperfections? It doesn't, I don't care, it doesn't matter. You gotta find a brand that works for you, but sticking with that brand can be only good for your lighter. I think one thing that becomes problematic is if like your lighter has a little bit of fuel left in it, you go use some other type of fuel, that can be something that just doesn't help your lighter work as well because again, these fuels are made differently and it is a matter of mixing air and gas together, and you sort of do want a more pure fuel. I'll say, a lot of the ones you're gonna find at the store or at your local cigar shop are gonna be the kind of purity that you want in your lighter. I just make sure that you stick with one or maybe the other. Now, filling your lighter, that's a big deal. You're gonna have to fill the lighter. I mean, these things all have sort of different size gas tanks. This one is a clear gas tank in the bottom. I love it when you can see how much fuel is in there, but they're all gonna light somewhere between like eight and 15 cigars before you have to refill the thing. And so there's a method to the madness for doing this. And the simple way to do it is to bleed, fill, bleed. Here's what I mean by that. In the bottom of each of these, before I grab my tool over here, there's this little dial that turns uh, the flame up or down. In the center of that dial, there's a little nozzle or a nipple that you can actually inject the gas into. Bleeding your entire lighter has to do with pressing that nozzle to get excess gas out before you fill it. And so I'm gonna use a rat trap here because it's really the only thing I have, but I'm just gonna press down and some gas is gonna start coming out. You gotta press down till some of that dies out and then you're gonna fill your lighter. The nice thing about these like in, like visible tanks is you can see exactly how much fuel is going in there. And I'll tell you, as you fill these things, treat it like the gas tank on your car. Don't try to top the thing off. It's a pressurized little system in here. And if you keep trying to jam more fuel in there, it's going to disrupt the regulators and your hoses and all that kind of crap too. So just sort of fill it to the top, which again is why it's good to have the visible tank on there. Once you've got the thing filled, then you're just going to bleed it a little bit again. Once again, this is a woof. This is a mixture of gas and air working together to create that flame. Do that little bleed fill bleed and you're gonna get a good light pretty quickly. Now the flame is like ridiculously high on this. But this also brings me to my next point. You'll notice that this didn't light the first time that I held it down. And that has something to do with the temperature of the gas that comes out. When the gas comes out of this can, you'll notice that it's cold. If it brushes your finger even a little bit, you'll be like, woohoo, that's nippy. But when it comes to getting a good light out of your lighter, you want that gas to be sort of room temperature so that it mixes well with the air. Some people will hold their lighter like this to warm it up a little bit faster. But once you get your lighter in good shape, then it should light pretty well. Also, as I touch on this idea of temperature, like just in the same way that having your lighter way too hot is gonna cause it to break and to like seriously shorten the lifespan of a lighter, 
having a lighter that's really cold can just cause it to not light. And for a lot of people, what that leads to is like, ah, my light is broken. What do I do? I'm going to throw it in the trash and buy another one. Not necessarily the case. If a lighter is too cold, it may just need a little warm up. So warm the thing up, then go right on with lighting it, get your cigar going, enjoy the rest of your day. So ultimately, having a good long-lasting lighter is in a lot of ways about how you treat the things. Like, they're pretty small and simple, and you're not spending $100 or $200 on them, probably, if you are. It should definitely work. But at the same time, if you're spending, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on a lighter, it's gonna require a little bit of care and maybe even a little bit of maintenance. But just being intentional about that kind of crap can save you that not only the headache of buying a new lighter, but the headache of not having a good way to light a cigar when you want to, and maybe even alleviate your need for like, I don't know, some of the extra lighters in your collection then you end up with just one or maybe two if you really want one. Anyway, I hope all of this was helpful to you. And if you have more tips on how to extend the life of your lighter, do drop them down in the comments below. Let everybody know what you do to keep your lighters in good working shape. And check this video out on CigarsDailyPlus.com. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.